I'm Hood Chef Bro Kizil, and today I will be sharing five classic sandwiches that you can use or you can make to feed them damn chillin' that ain't doing nothing but coming to the refrigerator, looking in it, and grab a damn thing just to get on your nerves. Now, if you strap for cash or you receive food stamps, this will prove cost effective, being as we're not gonna be using any money, nigga. That's right, no money. You say, you say how? Watch when we go get today's supplies. Come on. So let's start with our bread. Shout out to Chick-fil-A for the mail hookup too. Now I like to get more than one or two packets, you know what I mean? Like, just for those late night sessions. But if the person behind the counter really tripping, just take the two packets. This place will call the boys on you. Oh, puss ass Sabrina. <laughs> All right, now with the packets I find that ripping the corner, just enough will let you apply. <laughs> All right. Now let's get the other side. All right. See, now we can dig in, you know? It does bring back memories, man. Yeah. Now I remember why I wanted to get my own damn place. Damn. Look. Oh my God. Rick ain't say a damn thing about That's me tasting any of that shit. I don't need to remember this. Man, I paid you. Yeah, you had your little you? funky ass $12 back, nigga. The oh, fuck. JD is just salt and pepper, but you could throw your little spin on it, you know, by putting it in the pan, grilling it with butter. But I don't have all that, you know. I ain't had the grip to hit the dollar jaw this month. Now I just usually ask for butter when I'm out. Then I just scrape out the margarine into the real butter bucket. So when the whole see it, I'm like, I'm the man now, you know, because you no know, bruh got real butter. Now you can find salt in any other fast food Jones, but I didn't pick up any since I already had some. Then we add our pepper. And there you have it, man, the James Denton. Now again, we begin with our bread. And I would like to give a shout out to the home girl for the back door five finger too. I still had three more cases of this mustard and ketchup. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you got a 99 cent gift card coming to you, girl. Mmm, man, look at that, bruh. One three combo. Stomach pocket, man. Eat that up. Now this will be peanut butter jelly. And you can swift it up with some marshmallow fluff. Hell, you can even sell these at the school for a dollar spread. To see the kids have really dig this one. Now we add that fluff. Yeah, now don't that look good? Damn, sticky menage, man. I'm gonna be advised, this shit right here just might cause happy dance. Hold up, man. Now 
Now all you need here is syrup and however many slices of bread you can take. You know you do is just open your syrup. Then you dip your bread. Now we're gonna wrap this up, but as the kids pile in, you may hear something like, I don't wanna eat this. Well, if a situation like that comes up, I offer the same slightly threatening and motivational but brief speech I received as a kid, just like a lot of people may have heard from their mom. You better eat that damn shit.